call him a modern day Mahatma or even Mahatma Gandhi 2.0, this 72 year old activist has sparked a social revolution that India has not seen since the fight for independence. Having started his fight against corruption at Jantar Mantar, New Delhi, this revolution has spread to all corners of India. And his unerring resolve for the Lokpal bill to be strengthened has found support worldwide. And by all means, Dandi March 2 team would, would be in full support of Anna Hazare. We are going to sit on fast this Saturday. We are, we are going to put our lives onto this. And this is the movement that got to capture the attention of, of the whole of India. Like Mahatma Gandhi, Hazare's supporters took out a Dandi March the second, all the way in California. Now we see uh, Anna Hazare doing this uh, fast. And so we are continuing to raise awareness uh, and we are supporting him. And the people who, who got to know about the Jen Lokpal bill through Dandi March 2 are now supporting Anna Hazare's movement. They're coming. And Indians from Los Angeles to London have joined in support. Because of so much of corruption and so much of things, people are agitated, you know. When, how does a politician get our money? they get money by taking away the taxes that we pay. So in effect, the money that they are swindling is our money, the hard earned money. So over the past 60 or 70 years, we are just seeing corruption and people who are involved in corruption, we are not seeing any action on them. That probably inspired like many youngsters and many people out in India and abroad, they are like baby, like uh, they just wanted to break out. They didn't, uh, they couldn't take it any longer. A 72 year old Gandhian, Anna Hazare, has garnered a wave of support. A projection of which is evident in the activity on the social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Over 75,000 people have liked a Nahazare campaign on Facebook while he is among the top three searches on Twitter. And over 350,000 people have joined the online discussion forums on the modern day Mahatma. My message to the country is that those of us watching us today at their homes, my clear message is just come here, don't wait there. If you wait there, then you will repent forever. It's now or never. So just come here and join us. This is a common man's crusade against corruption. I urge the entire Indian community, everyone should come together against this, okay, for this cause and join us in this movement. We advise for the government that they should wake up and see the writing on the wall. They should not confine themselves in the comforts of their luxurious life. India has broken up. In case they don't wake up, they will be drowned. The politicians, the government who are in the highest post, they are looting our country. And we have to be with Anna. Otherwise, we cannot save our country. A corruption-free India, is that is what the current definition of independent India. With thousands of supporters holding candlelight vigils across the nation, the fight against corruption will not die. And this people's movement to hold corrupt government officials accountable is sure to succeed. <laughs> Anna Hazare provided the first push and now the rest of the country is at war against corruption. All of India was speaking in one voice. Jantar Mantar in the heart of the capital is now the epicenter of India's biggest mass movement against corruption. In Mumbai, thousands of a cross-section of society protested at the Azad Maidan. The 
The support for Anna was not restricted to the metropolis. The smaller cities too joined in. Anna's voice and millions in chorus made sure the government took notice as the first step has been taken from the clutches of corrupt politicians and bureaucrats.